Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be reinstalling the Shein wig. It's 13 by 4, 150% density and 20 inches. I'm basically going to be doing a two week update just to let you know how things went. If you want a tutorial on this color, just let me know in the comments below and I can make a separate tutorial for that. I'll also add the colors that I used um, to dye this hair in the description box just so that you guys know. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. But we're just gonna get right into um, the wig. I'm gonna start off by just uh, hot combing some of the hair out of the way so that it'll make it a little bit easier for me to install so there's not hair getting stuck um, in the adhesive spray I'm gonna be using. And the first thing I wanna point out um, about the Shein wig, after I bleached and dyed it, the hair was significantly like dry and it shed a lot more than it was when I first got it for like the first week. Once I added that bleach and did that, I used the watercolor method by the way, um, it was just it was just so dry and stiff. So if you do decide to buy this wig and color this hair, you would definitely need to give it like some type of deep conditioning treatment or maybe like add um, some type of serum to maybe soften it a little bit during the install. I didn't want to add any like extra products to it because I kind of just wanted you guys to see how it was um, right after dyeing it. I did let it air dry about 85% before blow drying it till it was completely dry. And this is just how it looks. There's nothing in it as far as any like oils or serums or anything like that. I'm gonna go in with the Ebon adhesive spray to um, install the wig. I didn't wanna glue it down this time around since I wasn't keeping it on for that long. And throughout the video, I am gonna show you guys how much shedding I got um, from installing the wig. If you were planning on buying this wig with the intentions on coloring it, I think it would be better for you to get the 613 wig. They do have one on their website and on their app. So if you were trying to go for like a brighter color, I wouldn't buy the natural brown wig and then bleach it because it just damaged the hair. I would just go ahead and buy the lightest colored wig and then watercolor it whatever color you're trying to get or hand dye it. Um, it's up to you, but I definitely don't recommend bleaching this wig. It it just it ruined the quality of the wig in my opinion it was so much softer um, and nicer even after washing it um, the first time i installed it it was just very soft it had minimal shedding minimal tangling and now it's just very dry and it sheds so much and it tangles and it's very stiff um, which is why i recommend you at least trying to deep condition the hair if you do decide to bleach and dye it So once I'm finished melting the lace, I'm gonna put my elastic band on and then I'm gonna start styling the hair. I did wanna do um, wand curls again. So I'll show you guys um, me wand curling the hair and I'll also show you guys like the ends of the hair and just how they look now. So now that I'm done curling the hair, I'm just gonna um, hot comb a little bit more. And to help me flat iron the top out, I'm gonna use this Dax pressing oil. It has coconut oil and castor oil. 
And it's not much different than a wax stick. I just like the shine that it adds. Um, so I alternate between the wax stick or this. I saw a hypnotic lady using it in one of her videos and I just had to give it a try. And I actually do love this product. I do recommend it. Um, just when you do use it, just don't use a lot if you do decide to purchase it. So now I'm going to start on my baby hairs and I'm just using the wet line extreme gel to swoop my baby hairs. This just gives me like a lot of mobility when I'm doing my baby hairs without my install lifting. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me do that because I know sometimes you want to see how I do my baby hair. So I'm going to leave that in the video and I'll be back at the end. So now I'm finished styling the wig. This is what it's looking like. And if you go back and watch my first video, I'll link it down in the description box. You can see like a difference in the hair quality. I still recommend that um, if you do buy this wig, like I think that it is good for like learning how to customize your wigs as far as like bleaching the knots and plucking the lace and how to just do different styles because it's so affordable. But if you were to buy it to color this wig, I don't recommend it for that. It's just not good enough hair quality to be harshly colored with chemicals. I still love how this install and the color came out. It was my first time doing a color like this. Let me know if you guys want to see it in the comments below. I will also list what I use to get this color in the description box as well as the link to the first video and the link to the wig. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.